we're going to show how to process a printed out collodion chloride print. So come on over here and take a look at this. We take the print out of the printing frame. So there is the print. And in an earlier video, we showed printing with the light unit. I just want to show the difference between one that is really just a proof on the left, just to show an image, and how deeply we have to overprint on the right hand side. So that's the one we're going to process. So we first wash the print in tap water. Now, American tap water almost always has chlorine in the water, and we want that chlorine in the water to remove the excess silver nitrate that we needed to make the image, but now it's it's superfluous. We don't want that anymore. Now, if you look at this very carefully, you'll start to see the excess silver combining with the chlorine in the water to make a, a cloudy precipitate. And we use these dark trays in order for us to see the precipitate easier. The first thing I'm going to do is, is to pour off some of this water and then change the water. There you can see the, the milky precipitate. If you're not using chlorinated water, you're using well water, or you live in a place where you don't have chlorine, you'll have to put a pinch of salt, just plain old table salt, in the water to do this. But it's important because the excess silver is needed to make the image, but once we make the image, we want to get rid of it. And again, that's why we like using dark trays. These are our dark um, baking trays, Pyrex. So we do this a few times. And again, what we're looking for is to get rid of that milky precipitate of silver chloride. And we just keep filling it with clean water. Notice how the collodion paper curls quite a bit. The reason for that is that the collodion surface is essentially a plastic and it does not absorb the water. But the paper, the fiber paper behind, does absorb the water and it expands quite a bit. So to keep it from curling, you must hold the corners. The bigger the sheet, the less you have to hold it down. Okay, we'll pour this out again. And now we're going to put it into the gold chloride. And that's the toning bath. Now in the gold chloride, it's going to start to turn color. It's going to take a purple hue rather than that red hue. You want to rock the tray two different directions. The more you print, or the deeper you print, the more you can tone. The more you tone, the more image you keep, and the cooler the final image will be after all of the processing. All right, so that has turned to a more purple color. I'm going to leave it in just a little bit longer. It will lose some of that in the fixer. Here we go. We're going to put it into the fixing bath, which is sodium thiosulfate. And it'll lighten up a little bit in the fixing bath. See how it's lightened up? You can see things starting to open up in the fixing bath. Now you want to fix it in this for at least four minutes. Four and a half minutes, four minutes. For this video, we're not going to go the entire time because that would be like watching grass grow, or like watching paint dry. But trust me, you want to have it in the fixing bath for at least eh, four minutes, four and a half minutes. And you're going to wash this for about eh, 10, 15 minutes. It doesn't require a ton of washing. More will not hurt. So if you want to wash it for longer, that's 20 minutes, a half an hour, you can do that. But. Um, there's not much chemistry in the collodion itself. It's essentially a plastic. I'm just going to put it into the, the wash water here. You know, the way the print looks right now is still a little light. When it dries, it will dry down darker and the color will be cooler. So it'll be more of a, um, a deep purplish brown.